Sunday morning, October 22nd, 2017. Nice day to give the kids a ride. We have two furrow plow coming by, but he's not plowing at the moment. <laughs> it's plow day. Champlain Valley Antique Gas Engine and Tractor Association has their annual plow day. In October last year, it was uh, took me by surprise. They had it way up at the beginning of the month on October 7th, or yeah, 7th, I guess. And uh, this year, it was supposed to be last week. We showed up and nobody was around. But uh, they're showing up right now and getting ready. It's uh, about 10:30 or so on this Sunday morning. And they'll be here on Tony and Marsha Trombley's farm for a little bit of plowing. The, the farm always manages to have at least one field available for this annual plow day. So antique tractors will come out here with one and two furrow plows. And this is a two furrow one here. It'll make two swipes when it comes through. And uh, hopefully we'll get the show on the road, so to speak, in a very short time. This field is located in the Ingraham area of Shazy. There's Route 9 to our right. And as we like to point out every year, years ago Route 9 had a sharp curve right there and continued down this road that we'll call the Ingraham Road because I don't really know the name of it. It goes on into the hamlet of Ingraham. But uh, as cars became faster and accidents became more prevalent, the state straightened out the road and put in this new stretch right in the middle of the Trombley Farm. And just a little ways up here is the Reynolds Road that goes down to the lake area. We've seen larger gatherings of tractors here. And we want to warn you, uh, <laughs> you want to know when they're annual plow day is going to take place. Don't depend on their Facebook page. The, these people are into antique gas engines and tractors. They're not necessarily up to worrying about Facebook on a regular basis. So the information we saw in there is basically all a year or more old. So the best thing to do is get to know one of their members and keep in touch with them. And right after I made that remark, four more showed up on the horizon coming out of the Trombley farm area. I don't know if there's any more hidden up there that are unloading. It's 10 after 11, let the show begin. We don't get there to get any closer to the initial plowers here because they're going to be coming right by me and I'll be right in the middle of the, the traffic area if they moved out. But it won't take this many tractors very long to do this small field, uh, but with the modern way of cutting corn, the, the corn that this Field, the corn that's surrounding us here isn't, just hasn't been cut yet. Otherwise, they'd have more land that they could plow up. So we've got an initial row of tractors coming here. Oh.
course, if I could choreograph this, I'd have them a lot closer to each other. There comes our leader. It's John Deere. Could be one of the tromblees on there. And this one here, uh, oh, backing up. The Massey Hare, the Massey Chalmers. Alice Chalmers, excuse me, Alice Chalmers. Thinking it was a Massey Harris, but Alice Chalmers. Uh, John Deere, this looks like a diesel. That tank on top. Another smaller John Deere. Of course, I walked across the uh, <laughs> the plowed field to get here. The pre-plowed field, the unplowed field. <laughs> when I walk back to my vehicle over there, I'll have to you know have uh, ask the bride to drive it around, or I'll have to walk through the plowed field. We'll see what makes more sense. Weren't a lot of tractors uh, back in the 50s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, and earlier, and whatever, that had uh, this right here, a little cab of some sorts. I listened to our friend Bob Bentop. He was very sun sensitive. He burned, and uh, he hated to be out there in the sun. That's another John Deere, of course. This here, Ford Ferguson, what is it here? If we can see what it says. It's a Ford. It's a Ford. And a lot of these are just one bottom, making one furrow. Another putt putt of the John Deere. <laughs> Kids running behind, collecting rocks probably. Looks like the others are just getting going. There's a, a John Deere over here that's got a little wagon behind it. That'll take some of the youngsters and their parents out for a little wagon ride around the field. And I just thought everything was going to be basically green. We've got some red ones coming up here. Here's how the row looks going in a southerly direction, battling the sun. Oh, look at that. They're having a race there. Uh, battling the sun in the east and the, in the south. So it's a battle to get a picture here that I can still see through my viewer. Again, we're <laughs> struggling with our viewer. There's a red one. Another red one. We're going to assume it's a John Deere, but we won't. Uh, I'm assuming a farm hall, not a John Deere. Excuse me, I want to get the IH people upset with me. Or the John Deere people upset with me. Well, usually people were. Very loyal to their to their tractors. My father didn't have that loyalty. He may have had a preference here and there, but uh, they had a variety of, of tractors. Whatever made sense to buy at a particular time is what he went with. Our neighbors immediately next door to us, the Ridgeview Farm, they were strictly Farm All International. 
lights and all just that the equipment was all red. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now we got a videographer there worrying. Don't get too close though kids. Like they're gonna switch drivers here. Don't get too close kids. This is farm equipment. Here comes that wagon load of, of spectators. What a young driver. And a pile of smiling kids. Apologize for the relative shakiness. We're zooming in a lot here. Anybody who's ever run a video camera knows, uh, or any type of a camera, the more you zoom in, the tougher it is to uh, hold her steady. Well, we'll go back and we've got another... This guy is uh, braver than I'd want to be. Do not attempt this at home, kids. Do not attempt this at home. Riding on the plow is not the recommended way of doing it. So let's see what we got. A red and a couple of, a red, green, red. That second green that second that first green one might just be an Oliver rather than a John Deere. We'll see as it gets closer. Not sure what they're backing up for here. It seems to be a a lot of backing up going on in this area. Could be their equipment. Yeah, looks like these youngsters want to hop on the hop on the wagon, stop the bus. <laughs> they want to ride into town. They were going to do this a week ago. Today's the 22nd. They were going to do it on the 15th, and they said it was too wet here. And uh, people watching this in 2017 know it hasn't been a very particularly wet fall but we just had a, a little rain uh, prior to that and after a long stretch without any rain and I guess they softened up the field so they pushed it back so I came here a week ago and nobody to be found And here we go, we're going to have uh, tractors crossing paths. This guy had to pull out. And this one here is definitely an Oliver. Not a John Deere, it's an Oliver. Much like a, a car show where car collectors get together, might go for a cruise. These are antique tractor collectors that get together and go for a plow. And it's nice that Tony and Marsha Trombley make their land available for them. Because as many of you viewing will know, Tony and Marsha have a huge collection of John Deere tractors. I would guess 60 or more and I might be given that uh, 
that would be kind of way short in that. And we're very privileged to do a, a show with them, and we're very privileged to find out that uh, when we did a show, Bob Ben and I were here at uh, a John Deere B. Looked very, very familiar. Of course, all John Deere beer bees look like other John Deere bees, but they're very good to find out. I brought my father here after that show, after we did another show with Gary Finney on John Deere days. We stopped in here at the Tony and Marsha's to look at that John Deere bee, and sure enough, it was a John Deere bee. That, my, that was my father's first tractor back in the late 1940s and uh, although Tony and Marsha don't sell anything because of the circumstances they agreed to sell it to my wife Judy and I and yeah, it was a happy moment when we had they delivered that and surprised my father with it and it now sits uh, probably on the original family farm. Very pleasant day, temperature low 60s today, sunshine, just a slight breeze, just a perfect day for this. You don't run into many October 22nds like this here in the northern tier and just a beautiful day for this to be happening here at, uh, at Ingraham. that unmistakable John Deere sound. That's the hometown cable where you find this kind of programming. Reminder, you're watching viewer-supported local television, hometown cable. If you're not enjoying this, you probably turned the channel already. If you're finding this at least a bit interesting, remember this the only place you're going to find this is hometown cable, and it's supported by viewers like you. And if you're not supporting us, then not able to be here, so appreciate what Hometown Cable does here on a Sunday morning. Did the honor flight yesterday, did high school soccer playoffs, and we're here covering this plow day. So we appreciate all the variety of Hometown Cable programming. 
We need to hear from you. We need viewer support if we're going to keep this program incoming.
We've made our way into the plowed part of the field. And we'll get a few more passes and we'll call it a day. type of stuff you can also see going on at the uh, Babies Farm and Rural Farm and Learning Museum in Peru. They have various days throughout the year. And of course, Country Dreams Farm is also another place we enjoy visiting. Comes out all over. And just in case anybody was wondering, yes, they have uh, fertilized the field uh, since it was, the corn was cut. Unfortunately, it all dried. This will wrap up our look at the 2017 Champlain Valley Antique Tractor and Gas Engine Cloud Day. October 22nd, 2017, we've been at Tony and Marcia Trombley's in Ingraham, and you're watching viewers supported local television, hometown cable. TV, we think, is worthy of your support, hometown cable. We always try to show what's best about our North Country, and I think this is a great example. Thank you for watching.